I'm going to get started by ripping the walnut boards in half. After taking a look at the four boards, I decided that I really only needed three, and I put one of the boards back in the scrap bin, and I'll use it for another project later, maybe a wooden spoon. Now I can take a rough measurement and cut the maple to length. The maple strips are a little heavy, so I'll need to trim them down first on the table saw before joining the boards together. I like to adjust the blade height to a little above the material that I'm cutting, and that's a good safe habit to get into. Now I'm ready to glue the boards together. I'm using Type Bond 2 wood glue and I'm using a paintbrush to help spread the glue around. This is a case where it's better to have or, or to use a little more glue than not enough. Might have to go like this. Whoa, I'm just gonna go for it. Got lucky. To make sure all the boards remain nice and flush during the glue up, I'm going to clamp boards at the ends and I'm going to wrap those boards first with packing plastic and that will keep them from sticking to the cutting board. It's always a good idea to try to clean up as much of the glue squeeze out as you possibly can while it's still wet and a good way to do that is with a little sawdust and a wet rag. Okay, I've let the glue set up overnight. I'll clip the boards, try to scrape off most of the glue, and then send it through the drum sander. To remove the dry glue, I'll start with a chisel working across the grain, and then I'll switch over to a razor blade, and I'll use the razor blade like a cabinet scraper. Now I'm ready to send the cutting board through the drum sander. If you don't have a drum sander, you could always use a belt sander or an orbital sander. And I would start with probably 80 grit sandpaper. If your cutting board is very rough, you might want to start with 60 grit. To soften the edge, I've got a chamfer bit in the router and I'll run this around the top and the bottom of the cutting board. The last step before the finish is to use the palm sander with 150 grit silica carbide sandpaper and give the cutting board a good sanding. Okay, well now I'm ready for one of my favorite parts of any woodworking project and that's to apply the finish. This is a food safe board wax from my friends at SoCal Woodshop. I'll use a clean rag, get a good amount of wax on the rag and then apply it to the board. Okay, well that didn't take a lot of time, and now instead of having a few scrap boards hanging around the shop, I've got this beautiful walnut cutting board. This is a great gift idea, or great for your own home. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.